access the configuration menu via Tools, Customizing, IMG, Execute Project. Alternatively, you can use a transaction code SPRO to get there. The Customizing submenu consists of an entire menu tree structure itself, called IMG, Implementation Guide. The IMG is comparable in complexity to the regular application menu you have seen so far. However, in any given SAP implementation project, you will not require the entire functionality available. Therefore, SAP lets you manage a project-specific IMG for every project you do and within this IMG, you choose only those transactions you actually need. The IMG is basically structured according to SAP modules and additionally contains global settings, for example for the organizational structure. We are now going to show you how to create an organizational unit in SAP Customizing, using the example of a company code. To do so, we go to the menu entry, Enterprise Structure, Definition, Financial Accounting, Edit, Copy, Delete, Check Company Code, Edit Company Code Data. To create a new company code, press the button New Entries. Then enter a unique code for the company code, the company name, and the basic geographical data where the company is located, such as the city and country. You must also maintain the currency to be used in this company code and its business language. You will also be prompted to maintain the exact address of the company code, the company name, street address, zip code, city, country, and region. For the US, this generic term represents a state. You also choose the communication language for the company code. Once you have created the company code itself, you are required to maintain a number of basic settings before you can start using it in financial accounting. To show you these settings, we will first close the Enterprise Structure menu and then head to the Configuration menu for financial accounting. This can be found under Financial Accounting New, Financial Accounting Global Settings New, Global Parameters for Company Code, Enter Global Parameters. You can use the Position button to jump directly to a specific company code rather than going through the list. As you can see, there are a lot of parameters available here. Explaining them all now would take too long. Instead, we would like to point out the chart of accounts. This defines which financial accounts you will use in your company code and how the accounts are classified. You have come across financial accounts already when we demonstrated how to post a financial document in Chapter 3. We are also going to come back to talking about accounts in Chapter 5. For now, we are finished with our demonstration of an organizational unit.